session of your MOOCs course, Internet of Things, Design Concepts and Use Cases. In today's practical video, we are going to talk about a fire or flame detector. For this, I will be using a flame detector or fire detector sensor along with Arduino board. And in order to observe the impact on the output side, you can either use a LED or a buzzer. In my case, I will be interfacing it with a buzzer on the output side. So, you can see on your screen right now, we have a Arduino Uno board over here through which I have connected my frame sensor. On this flame sensor, you generally have four different pins. Depending upon from which manufacturer you have obtained your sensor, there may be analog pin, digital pin or both along with VCC and ground pin. The sensor that I am going to use today, it includes both analog as well as a digital pin. So, here on the circuit diagram, you can see I have shown a connection with analog pin A0 and I have connected it on analog port A0 terminal of your Arduino Uno. Along with this, the VCC and ground terminals are also connected. And on the other side, a buzzer as well as a LED is shown connected. So, this is a general interface that you can create for your fire sensor circuit diagram. But now, I am going to interface it on my hardware side and I will be using because uh, analog terminal connection I have already shown you here. And on the hardware side now, I am going to use it with the digital terminal so that you can have idea about both options. So, let us create the interface on the hardware now, for which you can see one of the products I have obtained is a simple buzzer. This is a kind of passive buzzer which has three different pins. One is your VCC, other is your ground and one more terminal we have is your signal. Similarly, we have here on the other side a fire sensor. This one has a LED over here. This one basically senses your surrounding environment for the presence of heat. And at the same time, we have a sequence of pins over here along with digital, analog, VCC and ground pin. And here you can see a potentiometer which you can utilize to adjust the sensitivity level of this particular sensor. So, depending upon what level of flame or fire you want to sense and create a buzzer along with that, you can adjust the potentiometer with the help of a screwdriver over here. So, let us see the hardware based connections now. So, first of all, I am just taking up each one of the wires one by one. So, first of all, there is a ground terminal that I will be using on the ground pin of my Arduino. Similarly, we have the VCC terminal or the plus 5 volt terminal that I will be utilizing on the 5 volt terminal right here. And one more we have is your digital pin that I can use on any of the digital terminals, making sure the same pin we will be defining on the software side. So, let us consider I am adding it on pin number 4 over here. So, this is your sensor connection. And now, the similar sequence will follow for the buzzer. For this one, first of all, I have a ground terminal with this green wire. So, I am using one of the ground terminals available here. Next one I have is your VCC terminal that I will be utilizing over the power terminal available on this particular port. And last one we have is your signal terminal that I am connecting here on pin number 10. 
So, the same sequence we now have to follow on your hardware side. So, this is your connection and now let us show the code for the same sequence. So, let me take you to Arduino IDE platform. So, you can see the Arduino IDE platform we have here on your screen now. First of all, I have declared my buzzer pin, pin number 10 and same I have connected here on the hardware side. The next one we have your flame pin which is your sensor pin. So, you can see here the digital pin of this sensor I have connected here on the fourth terminal. Next to this the initial condition for the flame sensor I have created as low and after that we have the setup part where I have declared the buzzer pin as an output pin and similarly we have the flame pin as an input pin. And after this the serial begin we have started here if you want to sprint something on the serial monitor so this will be utilized. And next to that we have the loop section. In your loop section because I have connected my sensor on the digital port so accordingly digital read function I have utilized. And next to this we have to check the condition of flame whether your sensor is sensing a flame or not accordingly a if statement is being created over here. We can see if flame is high it means if flame is sensed it has to print fire is detected on screen and at the same time the buzzer pin will go high. However, in the other case that will be within the else black bracket and here we have no fire detected and buzzer pin will stay low. When you are ready with the code and you send your this particular code to the Arduino board always make sure you have adjusted the potentiometer of this particular sensor and it will be adjusted in the similar manner as we have done with the sound sensor. So, you just have to check the LED beside this particular potentiometer. As soon as this LED turns off with your potentiometer based adjustment the desired sensitivity level will be reached and then you are ready to interface it further. So, let me connect the USB port first of all and now we can check your COM port as well as the Arduino board and ready to upload your sketch to the hardware side. So, first of all it is going to compile your sketch and after that it will send your code to the hardware and accordingly you can see here on the serial monitor we are getting continuous update that no fire detected because I have not added any delay uh, right now. So, it is showing a continuous sequence with every second. Considering this now as we need a fire case over here to check the otherwise condition. So, I have a matchbox with me and I am just going to use this particular sensor with a matchbox over here because this is also going to sense flame and that will be some bright condition if you have in your environment in that case also if the sensitivity level of the sensor is not adjusted it may start ringing the buzzer in that condition also. So, always make sure the sensitivity level is at desired position. So, I am just burning the fire over here and you can listen to the buzzer and I can bring it closer and the buzzer will ring again. So, this is a specific sequence we have created for your fire sensor and you can see here because in the studio right now we have high flame condition and we have bright lights over here it will also sense that thing as flame. So, that is why the buzzer is ringing right now and if I take it to the darker side it will be turning off. So, the same sequence you can put in your code and you can adjust its sensitivity level with your looping conditions so that the buzzer rings at desired point. So, this is your basic experiment with fire or flame detector 
and we will definitely meet with several other experiments in coming sessions. Thank you very much for this video.